Now, from the News for Jack's I team, up in flames, firefighters are sounding the alarm over the rapid rise of lithium ion battery fires. These rechargeable batteries power cell phones, vapes, scooters, even electric cars, and all can spark fires that burn hotter and longer. A consumer investigator, Tiffany Salome, shows us how this is creating new dangers for you and firefighters. Lithium ion batteries can be dangerous when they fail, sparking fires like this, releasing toxic gases and burning hotter and longer than your average fire. You guys are going to want to look at this. Oh my gosh. That's insane. So, this is a real danger that it people is. need to be aware of. Yes, absolutely. They're very hard to put out, lithium ion batteries. We have to use water. We can't use our foam, we can't use other extinguishing agents, and we have to use a lot of water. With the help so of JFRD hazmat engineer Sean Fallon, we saw what happens when a lithium ion battery is purposely overcharged. What we're doing is we're taking a normal 18650 battery, right? Powers a lot of little mobility devices. We're adding a heating cartridge to simulate overcharging. So this is similar to having your phone charging on the nightstand. Absolutely. This mm -hmm. this could be someone's phone who either used a improper charger or it's been subjected to some type of thermal energy. Let's just make sure everyone be aware that the projectile, it could project that's metal. That oh my scary. gosh. <laughs> The force of the explosion sent the batteries into the drywall, and the batteries kept popping. So let's go in, let's put some water on it. Even when we thought it was over. This is now becoming a new concern for firefighters. During overhaul, imagine coming across that battery on that nightstand that's been exposed to that heat, and that same reaction occurs while you're thinking the fire is out and we're in the room. So that's a huge issue and we have to change our tactics because of things like that. Now imagine if that was a cell phone charging under your pillow or on your bed while you were laying in it. We simulated what would happen in that scenario too. Now is this gonna reignite potentially? It is possible. So I heard two two explosions, I heard one fire, and we have another off gassing. So that that is actually very wow. typical of what the 18650s do. Wow. These scenarios are happening in real life, sometimes with devastating consequences. Uh, one of the batteries my lawnmower caught fire. Jacksonville Fire and Rescue is responding to more and more battery fires than ever before. The battery is caught on fire in the house. Like this one in Duval County, which thankfully didn't spread after a charging battery exploded. Some people are sadly not as lucky. This past November, three people died in a Brooklyn apartment. The fire department of New York says this was caused by two electric scooters. This brings our total number of people killed by fires caused by these batteries for this year alone to 17. The city's fire commissioner says it's like having ticking time bombs inside people's homes. Here's what happened when we simulated a scooter battery overheating while charging in a bedroom. Lieutenant Buller, when I give you the go ahead, we're gonna take the power away um, and we're gonna leave it sit for a while to make sure that none of us get hurt. If you start to buy fast chargers or things that are not designed to work with a, a scooter or a cell phone or a laptop, you're running the risk of overcharging it or overheating it. The fire burned for more than five minutes with no signs of slowing down before firefighters put out the blaze. Fallon explains that these fires would be much more dangerous in a contained building. No room or hallway has this much exposure to outside air. So those flammable vapors, those explosive vapors are able to drift away. In a hallway, that vapor is gonna bank down and it's gonna catch fire and it could potentially have that entire hallway engulfed in flames for a few seconds. According to research provided by UL Solutions, in 2023, there were at least 1,600 incidents, 611 injuries, and 115 fatalities related to lithium ion battery fires in the US. Now, Tom, Joy, you can use these batteries and charge your devices safely, but it is important, and J.R. Fardy warns that it can become dangerous if you overcharge your devices, let it get overheated, like leaving it hot in your car or in a hot garage, or when you buy those cheaper aftermarket replacement batteries and chargers, if they are not safety certified. Now, I did buy one of those fast chargers 
chargers on Amazon, by the way. Uh, thankfully, it wasn't my phone that was the victim. It was my fiance's phone completely died. I mean, he couldn't even turn it on. The battery was just shot. He had to go get a new one. Yeah. So definitely something to think about. If you're trying to save a buck, it so might not be worth it. Just use the charger that the manufacturer provides for the phone as opposed to using somebody else's charger? Is that what you, right. the fire so department if, wants? Yeah, if you have an Apple phone, buy an Apple charger. Google, buy a Google charger. And you wanna make sure it's UL tested and has that safety stamp too. So that'll tell you that, hey, this is not an aftermarket and there is less of a chance that it will catch fire. Obviously, nothing is foolproof. And I wonder how many other people like me are running through their minds like, where's the batteries? I got, you know, the lawnmower, the phones, <laughs> the, just yes. running through everything. And power tools, too. Yeah. Like you saw that uh, homeowner in Duval County, his lawnmower battery caught fire. Wow. He was just charging it. So wow. it's interesting. And, of course, we could not have done this story without the help, guidance, and safety provided by JFRD. Firefighters learned a lot from our tests, too. So. Tomorrow morning, they'll join the morning show team to share what they learned and the important safety message they want everyone to hear. That's coming up tomorrow morning at 740. All right, Tiffany, thank you. Yes.